morning all. Still be on Saturday here again, although it's only Friday, as you may recall, or heard once or twice already. I am doing the video every day challenge for April 2020. So this is day three. It is Friday, April 3rd, and once again I'm here. <coughs> it is first thing in the morning, so I'm going to start with my basic sage. I'm going to burn some sweet grass today as well, just because I could use it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can tell, it's not quite as sunny as it has been, but it's fairly warm. I've got the windows wide open today, letting some of the outside in. Since I can't go out there, I'm going to have it come in here with me. So yeah, that's pretty much my plan. <laughs> it's like, oh, so I hope you guys are all doing okay, stuck in your house. Oh, wow. Mm. Seriously, it's not this hard to cut sage. It's just my hands are foobard. So this is... It's morning, it's Friday morning, and I have a whole day of doing nothing planned, really. I mean, this quarantine is just driving me nuts. Normally, I'd be getting ready for work. I work the ap used to work the afternoons on Fridays, and I miss my job. <laughs> I miss going to work. I miss Ruth. I miss my job. I miss human interaction. I'm like, ah! Okay, but yeah. Trying to, the way I have a few different methods to keep myself from going absolutely insane. One of them, of course, as you guys know, if you watched last week's show and a few different shows of mine where I've showed you, I smudge. I love the whole burning of, I have sage. Today I have sweet grass as well, but I'm almost out of sweet grass, so I'm trying to conserve it type of thing. But I've got my sage and sweet grass in there. And that's my sanity. And again, huge shout out to Trish. She made sure when I moved across that I was stocked up. I'm, yeah, I'm doing okay. I don't know what I'm going to do when this runs out, though. I'll have to, like, buy it at a store or something, which doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> but, you know, whatever gets you through the day. Some people drink. I burn weeds. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just get this going and then I'm going to put it on the windowsill. Oh, I should open that door so it goes through the whole house. Hang on just a second. Let me get this started in, in the window. There you go. And I put it in my windowsill. Usually I do it in the dining room, which is what you guys saw last weekend, but... <laughs> Getting off the floor hurts some days. I tell you, this getting old really sucks. Um, so today I thought I would do it from the comfort of my couch. I kind of Mickey Mouse a tripod thing so I could put my camera there because I don't have a tripod yet. I really should get a tripod. Um, but yeah, so that's the start of my morning. And the topic for today I was going to tell you is save with stories hashtag save with stories for those of you with littles in the house which kind of glad i don't have littles during this quarantine but it would be so awesome be giving me something to do anyways but anyways i'm rambling save with stories is save the uh it's a program done by the save the children foundation i believe and they have different people who read children's stories if you you know just hashtag search hashtag save the stories and you'll see what i mean but yeah, that's one way to get through the quarantine. A um, couple of other really good ideas. Oh, there's rain on the window. Ew. Oh, well, I don't have to go out in it, so I guess it's okay. Anyways, yeah. Um, what was I going? Oh, yes, other things to do during the quarantine. There are virtual tours. Most of the museums have virtual tours online for you to do, which is so cool. 
the Winchester House. I don't know if you guys, many of you know who that is, but, or what that is, but it's awesome. It's like, if you're into creepy and kind of eerie, the Winchester House tour is awesome. I actually watched that the other day and was quite impressed. Um, <coughs> and yeah, that's just, there's so much stuff online to keep you busy, but it means you're sitting in front of your computer or in my case on your phone all afternoon, which is, or all day, which is probably not exactly healthy. Um, you all know me. I like to walk. I usually go for a walk in the morning, do, go down to the water, yada, yada, yada. I haven't been able to do that lately. I'm going kind of crazy in the house, but it's nice. It's spring, so it's not freezing cold. I'm able to open the windows and it's still burning. Able to open the windows and at least let the outside in. Uh, we get quite a bit of noise and traffic and whatnot because as you know, I'm right near the hospital. So it is still quite busy where I am. Not as busy as it used to be. I will say that a million times. Like there are way less people downtown than normal. It's kind of quiet. But it's, yeah, it's been interesting. And I, I'm doing okay except for the not going to work. I miss my job. I miss having something to do, something to look forward to. So hopefully I actually have a job when this all <laughs> ramps back up again. Who knows how long that's going to be. I'm, sounds like it might be months if people don't start listening. Stay home. Wash your hands. How hard is it? Okay, guys. Well, that's my vlog for the day, I guess. I don't really have anything to talk about. I really have to plan these better, I think. I will. I will, I will, I will. So anyways, as always, remember, peace out, blessed be, look for the helpers, have a great day, and remember, wash your hands, stay home as much as you can, and thank you, thank you, thank you to all the essential workers that are out there busting their asses for us, grocery clerks, gas station attendants, nurses, paramedics, firemen, policemen, all of you wonderful people, taxi driver, truck drivers, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm sorry you're being treated so sh shitily across the country. I hope that changes. I know I've seen a few posts where restaurants are stepping up and they're there for you guys. And that makes my little heart happy because, like I keep saying, look for the helpers. In every bad situation, you'll find people who are making it better. Keep that in mind. Be on the lookout. And I will see you tomorrow, both for my show and my regular or my video blog video everyday blog for Saturday and of course Sylvie on Saturday will be here tomorrow for you and I believe we're cooking so yay us ciao guys